Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine on your uh, Minecraft and then you can use Optifine for maybe Hunger Games or Turf Wars. So let's get to it. First what you want to do is go to Google Chrome and now type in Optifine up to find.net open that up and then go to downloads click on downloads and then for whatever minecraft uh, for whatever minecraft version you want it to be in um choose whatever one you want it to be in the best one is at the top because that's the so like a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 keeps on going up this is d4 i now use f3 not the key f3 function 3 um no f3 so just install it i'll be installing the best one or the latest one i mean now to send you to this add dot lie add fly wait for this this guy just keeps on going up on me because he's like the ads owner of whatever <coughs> excuse me okay now what you're gonna do is go to download up to find one point whatever you have um, underscore HD underscore U underscore F3 the jar that's what I'm going to download but just remember that it is going to be over here your download you need to click here okay now what you want to do if you don't have this then if you don't have this, then uh, I'll put an annotation of where to skip because I don't know where you're going to skip now. So I'm going to put an annotation of where you're going to skip to. So first what you want to do is go uh, to new tab. Um, if you don't have uh, Java development uh, kit, you do not... Um, if you have it, just skip. And I'll put an annotation. If you don't have it, keep on going on the video. Java development kit right there. Now what you want to do is click on this link. Java 8. And now what you want to do first, always remember accept license agreement. If you do not accept this, it won't work. The best one is this because it's a uh, later version, so, um, 8U66. So because I'm doing it in the Mac, I'm doing X64, uh, 64 gigabytes, I think. No, it's not. A 64 bit. So now while this is downloading, So now that that's, I already downloaded it, so you would know what to do. This, this thing would come up. Now in Java Development Kit, whoa, wait a second. Whoa, that one's crazy. I think I clicked on all of them. So first, uh, this is... If you have development kit, this is what's going to come up. Like, this works now. So, Java development kit. Double click on icon uh, to install. Double click, left click, double left click. Now, you can read it if you want to. Click on continue. And it's... So, if you don't have enough megabytes, you have, uh, it will tell you how many megabytes or gigabytes it will take, or kilobytes, maybe. So, just click on install. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me, I have a call today. Okay, now, um, put in the password that you have for your um, whole MacBook. Do not put in the password of your iTunes or Twitter or Facebook or your Gmail account. Do not put any other password than your Mac. So, you open your Mac, you click on the user, and you put your password in. That's the password you want to put in. Install software. Now selecting files, just and then API files are going to be installed into your operating system. Their access tutorials, API documentation, developer guides, release notes, and more to help you get started with a Java development kit. Okay. Now close it. Once you've done that, okay, 608. So once you've done that, uh, you have you open this Optifine installer. If you did not um, download the Java development kit, that's fine because it might already be with your whole uh, system. And if you didn't download it and it's not in your system, it will say you need to download this Java development kit. So yeah. Now say install. I already installed it. So to it's okay. Because it will just go loading a little bit and then it will say up to find it successfully installed. I already have it installed. So now what you want to do, go to your Minecraft. What's this? Wait, what? I think it's another Java development kit, yeah. So now I have my Minecraft launcher. And then if you go to edit profiles, it's going to create a new profile called Optifine right there and you have ready to play 1.8.8 up to fine underscore whatever i changed these because i already have my up to fine since yesterday so you will find this right under the version right under the version you clicked on so imagine i clicked on maybe 1.3.1 it will say 1.3.1 up to fine and then yeah that's how it goes Click on this, save profile, and a good thing is, is that when you go to controls, you can, like, for Optifine, if you don't know what Optifine is, um, it's you press on, like, a key on your keyboard, and then just zooms in. It's good for Hunger Games if you think there's, like, a zombie or maybe Vampire Z, if you think it's a zombie or a vampire or a human uh, and you don't know, you can just zoom in with Optifine. It's not illegal. Why not illegal? What do you mean illegal? Whoops. My uncle's phone is ringing. My uncle's phone was ringing. He's sleeping right now. So now go on anything, single player. I'll just go on multiplayer. And I'll show you how good this works. So like maybe if I'm playing... Let's go play some Hunger Games maybe. Now I'm in Hypixel. I'm in Vampire Z right now. Zero vampire kills. Wow. Where am I? I want to be in the lobby. There we go. Now I'm in Vampire Z lobby. Whoa, it's so laggy. There you go. So now, as you can see, um, if you click on, if you click on C, if you click on C on your keyboard, it will zoom in. It will just zoom in. But now, if you move your mouse, it will just move by itself. If you don't want that. Um, go to so go to options controls go down 
go down all the way until this place here. So zoom. This is with uh, this is where the optifine comes. I like to put it at Z and toggle no um toggle cinematic camera. Cinematic cameras when you look and like you move your mouse and and then it's like a smooth movement. I put N. So now I'm gonna click on Z. You see the toggle cinematic camera? Like now let me move my mouse and I put my hands away. It still moves. Click on N. Now I can move it like this. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this, just smash that thumbs up button. Uh, and if you're new to my channel, please click on that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and peace.